Morning everybody. It is um, Monday morning, I believe. I've lost track of days. Um, it is uh, 1038. I got up at the ass crack of dawn uh, to get some more stuff done. Um, I've got my palm tree out front is trimmed. I got it done yesterday. No, two days ago, Saturday. Um, I got my bushes out there trimmed. <clears throat> Excuse me, everything is weeded. Um, got stuff done in the house, you know, shit put away uncluttered. Um, and then this morning, I was up at the butt crack of dawn and um, watered everything out here and then waited for a little bit. Then I came out and weed eated probably, well, one whole section and anything close up that I just newly seeded. I did that with the weed eater, so I left hubby a path of grass down the middle, pretty much. Checked on my watermelons. I'll take you out there in a little bit and show you them. I got a ton of them. Cleaned my patio. Um, you know, all my normal morning stuff. Put away last night's dishes. Did dishes. Swept floors. Uh, scrubbed carpets. In the dining room and in Chris's bathroom. Ran the vacuum through the whole house. <clears throat> so anyhow, I'm sitting down. Uh, let me update you on all the medical. And then um, I'll take you over and show you my watermelons. Um, I went Friday morning to get my blood work at my appointed time at 7.30 in the morning. And I get there. Everybody's in a panic. There's a woman that works there out gathering everybody's hard copies and their driver's license and blah 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 apparently they were having a computer issue and I said do you need my um, license and my insurance card I said I uh, tried to sign in but couldn't and um, she said no I'll get you in a minute sit tight she says do you have a hard copy and I said no no they were sent over because they always do that you know so I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait, and I wait. And they call all these people that had appointments after me. They're calling all these people that are walking in. Nobody's saying anything about anything. So they call me, Rebecca, come on back. So I go back, and she says, um, where's your hard copy? I said, I don't have one. I told them that. I said, and my appointment was quite a while ago it was 30 minutes ago I said and I've been left sick and she says well you know our computers are down we only can use two out of the six she said, something about Microsoft and we have no internet well no wait a minute no 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 it don't work that way but okay and how do you have two computers out of six working so anyhow she kept arguing with me I said well they were sent over uh, two or three days ago you should have them you know, they should have printed them. Well, they don't print anything anymore. You know, we just throw it out there to the World Wide Web, and um, we'll figure it out. Well, you know, this is why you have backup hard copies of shit, you know? Really? So, she says, well, you know, you can come back later, and because you can't get through to them on the phone. She says, you could come back later and check and blah, blah, blah. I said, no, no. I'm done. I'm not coming back here ever. And out the door I went. So, my doctor's office was supposed to open at 8.30. I got real lucky. They opened a little early. One of the girls were in there. And I went in and I said, can I get a hard copy of my um, blood work that you need done? And she wanted to I told her. And she said, well, I'm not having any problems. And I said, well, apparently there's a whole countrywide, worldwide. I don't know. I said, I don't get into tech shit. I don't social media a lot you know this is what my youtube that's what i do i don't hang out on facebook i don't TikTok. i don't whatever all that stuff is i don't do it it just creates problems so she printed out my blood work and of course you know the place where it was scheduled was right around the corner i'm not going back there i'm not doing it so i drove all the way over by um to county line road um, just this side of Pasco, literally County Line Road, and there was a quest over there, and I and I pulled up, and the 
tech was sitting outside. There was nobody there. And I went in and she told me, yeah, this is blah, 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 blah. And I said, well, here's my hard copy. And I told her what happened over there. I said, that, you know, they were really rude. They could have told me when she asked me the first time if I had a hard copy, told me what was going on and not left my dumb ass sitting there. I said, but that's exactly what she did. I said, and that's why it pissed me off. Not that there was an issue with stuff like that. You can't help it. But don't leave me just sit there. Especially that early in the morning. Especially when I fasted for that blood work and hadn't had any coffee. So anyhow, um, when I went to the doctor's office to get the coffee, I said, is this fasting? She said, no, 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 no. I said, okay, good. So uh, let me grab a drink of coffee. So anyhow, I had my coffee ready in the car when I came out of that lab. So I left there and I went up to um, the imaging place to get my chest x-ray. And the lobby was full when I walked in at like 8, 25, or somewhere around there. And I'm going, I'll sit here all day because it's walking but only, you know, for chest x-rays and shit like that. You know, take a number for your health kind of shit. So anyhow, I signed in, told her what I was there for. No sooner, I almost fell out. Everybody was looking at me like I was a criminal. I no sooner sat down, didn't even get my phone out, and the fella came and got me. Came and got me, went back, took off my top. I never put my necklace back on. I got to do that. Took off my necklace, my top, went, he did um, two views, went back, put my, I was out of there in 10 minutes, 10 flipping minutes. Now they didn't seem to be having a whole lot of problems with their computers, because I told her, you know, the girl at the desk, I know her, I told her what happened. So that went good. Well, it did, but it didn't. And then, I came home, did a bunch of sh you know me, all over the place like a freaking squirrel on crack. So, I called my surgeon's office when they opened, and I told her, you know, about the whole computer bullshit they're giving me, and, and maybe it's true. I don't know, but it was the wrong time of day for me, and don't leave me sit. Anyhow, um... I asked her if we could change the date of the surgery because we had originally set it for the 29th so we could get it done and over with. And she, looks, she says, yes, I can. She says, we can do it. I said, well, it gives you a little more time and me a little more time. I did get the letter from my insurance company. They have authorized my surgery, so we're good there. Um, I know, oh, my blood work all came back fine. I got those results. See, no computers, but I got an email with my um, results already. I got them yesterday, I think. Maybe day, maybe Saturday, yesterday. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, when I walked out of the lab and got in my car to go to my doctor's office to get a hard copy, I get... A message from Quest. It's your appointment time. Please get a hold of us. Please come, whatever, blah, 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 or reschedule your appointment. Really? The fucking computers are down? So, anyhow, um, we got that changed. We're going to do it on August 5th, a week later. It just gives everybody more time. It gives me more time to get my ducks in a row. And, however, now... I don't know if that's going to go through. I'll have to wait until I see my doctor on Thursday. Um, I got the results also of my um, chest x-ray. I don't know what my doctor's going to say. I don't know if she's going to cancel the surgery, send me for a CT, or... Uh, I'm old. You know, leave it alone. Uh, but I have two spots on my right lung. Could be something, could be nothing. You know, could be nothing. Because I'm old and I used to smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. I haven't smoked in almost 20 years. I no, I tried it one time because, you know, I thought, oh, yeah, I can do. 
I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, we'll see what they want to do with, with that. They may not want to do anything with it, you know. So we'll see what happens there. However, in my family, um, that's pretty much the demise of everybody. Um, however, I'm not even going to think that way. I'll wait till Thursday when I see my primary, see what she says. Um, hoping she doesn't think it's a big thing. That way we can go ahead and um, she could send the, the authoriza her authorization over. And um, I'm looking at something on the floor, sorry. And then all I have to do is go to the hospital and they have tests they have that I have to do. But I have to know what's going to happen when because that stupid cream, I already got it, that I have to rub in both sides of my nose five days before surgery keeps me from getting Mercer. I don't know. So, um, that's where we're at on that. You know, everything's set, everything's in motion. Um, I just hope we're going to keep going forwards with it. You know, I'm just not sure. I've had two other lung or two other chest x rays in the last six months, and the last one was um, May and they didn't pick up anything then so maybe i got a, a virus or still a touch of pneumonia or it could be scar tissue i don't know um so we'll deal with that when it gets here just another brick in the wall but other than that things are going good i'm getting shit done around here let's uh, take a walk and there I go. I'm closing up this thing now. You watch. I won't be able to... Oh, I can get it closed. Okay. Oh, let me get up. Oh, shit. This knee, I'm telling you. Okay. It takes me a minute once I've sat down. That's why I don't like to sit down because it just kind of does its thing. Oh, shit. I need to put shoes on, guys. Bear with me. I'm tired. I, I, but I got all my shit done for the day, you know? All I have to do is make dinner all right let's go let's look at the pool all right i'm gonna flip you around i got the pool running it looks beautiful we'll check on the turtles in a minute um i moved my cactuses back out here my starters because they were really wanting some sun so uh that's what i did there and let's walk out here. Look, see, it's getting put together. All the dirt that was sitting here is gone. I planted four gladiolus in there. And wherever you see a white tag in here, that's where they're at in here. My strawberry's still going strong. Um, but look here. I've got two peppers in the house. Uh, I'm pretty sure Cat did it. Ate half of one and tore another one apart. And the rest of them were just laying down there. So, yeah, I'm not real happy, but what are you going to do? Look at my grass, guys. It's going, but I still got to put a lot more seed down. So, the watermelon patch. There's my biggest one. He's pretty big. I weeded out a lot, you can see, and I'm still weeding. <coughs> Excuse me. There's, where is it? Where are you? There's my next biggest one. I think you can see it. It's a pretty good size. And then there's one right here. And then right there. See the flower on the end of it? Yeah. And then there's this one. See it? But yeah, they're going crazy. Here's another new one. I like to get them with all the rain we have. I'm picking them up and putting them on top of something. I ran out of holders, so as you can tell, that one. This one's just starting right here, so I put it up just in case. Um, this one. I don't know why I put this one up. I thought, I think it's because it's just got a lot of flowers on it. Anyhow, here's one. Here's one, here's one, see it right there, yeah, there's one over there, there's one in the middle, see the, I don't know if you can see the blue thing, but yeah, my flowers, I don't know if I'm going to leave these uh, 
ferns out here. I've got two more brackets. Let me put up some new lights. I don't think I'm going to leave the ferns. I think I'm going to go buy some baskets with some pretty flowers in them. But these are all doing real nice. And my grass. But yeah, can you see how this watermelon... Let me go over here and show you. Look how they've taken over that corner of the yard. I'm going to let them do their thing, though. They seem to do better that way. So, uh, But yeah, it's it's coming. It's a coming. I'm getting my grass. It's my little work area, my pool pump, and some more kayaks and shit that we have, and bicycles, and a motorized paddle boat standing on end right there. And yeah, there's e-bikes up there. we got shit we don't need. So yeah, but you see how green everything's getting. Even this area, it's got some rocks in it. I'm going to come out tonight and pick the rocks, but I've got some grass growing everywhere, so I'm happy. Release from. So let's go back in. I'm telling you, I love this heat, but this air is so thick. I came out this morning to uh, let the dogs out and to water the grass a little bit, and yeah, I thought I was going to die. All right, let's go visit the turtles. Yeah, this is best. All my plants that I've repotted are doing quite well. None of them have died on me yet. Oh, that's my pineapple plant in there. But yeah, they all... A rose bush. It's got so much new growth on it. It's got a new bud right there. I need to trim, but I'm not going to. Not yet. My two crotons. i got to find a home for them. I'll probably put them in my flower bed. Turtle head. Good morning. Come here. Hi. Are you both going to come out and say good morning? Hmm? Morning. Good morning, handsome. Where are you? I can't see you with this. There you are. There you are. Hi. Hi. And there's Missy over there. So they seem to be doing okay this morning. Hi, buddy. Nanny. Nanny. Good morning. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Downey was out here this morning, and there's another cat now that's um, coming around. Of course, I put food out for Downey. He's big, and he's tiger striped, but his face is white like Eddie, you know, my only boy with the white face. But it's real fat and big, and long hair. He looks like a raccoon. That's what I thought was peeping up over the side there was a, a raccoon. And I'm getting this thinned out out here too. Let me flip. Remember, I had the big tables over there, and so the rack is holding shit that's coming out of here. And I'm just going to keep my grills, you know, because I got to have my grills. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Oh, let me sit down. Let's see if I can open this, huh? Before I throw it on the ground. I did. I got it open, guys. How about that? So, anyhow, I'm gonna take a minute and uh, go read some messages. See what we're doing. I just, um, I, it's still kicking the pants to me about my friend that I had told you about. Man, I can't get that out of my head. It's eating at me. And I've tried to think about what to say to her daughter. I'm just not going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. That's all. I'm just going to do it. Don't mind me while we're talking. I haven't taken my medicine yet, but most of my vitamins, I take gummy style. It's just easier. They're sweet, but vitamins are so big, you know. They're just horribly... Let me see if I move this around, if it'll get better light. I don't think so, but... Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, so, yeah, don't mind me if I'm eating these. I'll at least get that done. I don't take them out. Oh, shit, yeah. Hmm. I couldn't. I'm going to show you this. Hang on a minute. Let me flip it. Let's see. 
Can you see her right there? That's one of the babies. She's sleeping at the bottom of the grill. She loves it under there. So anyhow, that's been on my mind a lot. I just, so I need to get that contact over with. I might do that today. I keep putting it off, you know. And um, then the news of the x-ray. I'm not going to let it bother me because, you know, they suggested the x-ray technician or whoever that reads them, you know, said it probably needs to be explored more, but I'm not going to worry about it. But it's there, you know. You can't help but get chest x-rays with two spots on your lung and not think about it. So we'll see. But yeah, I haven't, I've just been keeping myself extremely busy here. Extremely. Get up, hit it early, early in the morning. And then I fall asleep in the recliner watching TV. My poor husband, he probably goes like this, put his arm around me and I'm not there. I just fall right out in the recliner. So, I think I've got everything caught up around here, um, at least for today. There's still more stuff out here. I gotta get that rack taken care of and my grandson's fire pit and the firewood and everything we bought him still sitting over there. I don't know. I don't know what he wants to do with that. I figured he'd be all excited and use it because he loves a fire and him and his girlfriend love to make um, uh, s'mores. So. I try not to get too involved in anything anymore because it really doesn't matter, you know, and I understand that it really doesn't matter. And just to keep myself on the neutral side, you know, I'm seeing a reflection in the glass and I saw it earlier. There's some butterflies out here. They are so big and their wings are flapping so fast. You would swear, I'm still watching them through the slider, I could see them. You would swear they were hummingbirds. And had I not seen the wings stop for one minute and saw the wings, I would be damn sure thinking they were hummingbirds. I mean, their wings are just, but they're butterflies. I've never seen that. That's okay, because they're out there pollinating my shit, you know? So I'm good with that. Nanny, what do you want? Want to go in? You better come tell me what you want. Um, hmm, forgot where it was. Oh, talking about, you know, the fire pit and people's business. And, you know, it's just better just to not have an opinion, regardless. Because if your opinion is right, you're their best friend forever. If your opinion, they don't like it, yeah, so I don't give an opinion per se to people. I give my opinions and just let it go. Does that make sense? Well, it does to me. I, I'm watching that butterfly. It is just whipping all over that plant. It's so big. <clears throat> so, I have nothing other than tired and I got a new microphone hubby got me a new microphone so we'll see how it works um, but yeah I'm just keeping busy getting everything done around here with the hopes that the surgery is going to take place on the 5th and um, I just want everything in its place you know and I'll be okay with it make sure the animals all have food you know the fish Foods refilled, the turtles, I just got them new food. And, you know, because I live with men. You know, I had one of them come to me yesterday or day before. I'll help you. And I just looked at him. I guess stupid. Well, nobody asked me to do anything. And I'm like, well, every time I ask somebody to do something, everybody disappears. So, why should I bother? And guess what? That person just disappeared. I guess I said the wrong thing. I don't know. 
and it used to be a day I would worry about that and feel sad about that. I don't know anymore. I know. That's what it is, you know. So, you know, I haven't been to Walmart. In a week. Nope, haven't been. <clears throat> I need to go. I got a couple things I got to pick up. Um, and tomorrow morning I go to the boob doctor to get scrunched. You know, that stupid shit. But I'm going to be on the other end of town. So, Thursday... Wednesday night or Thursday, because Thursday I go to my doctor, and that's down that way. I'm going to go to Walmart. I bet they miss me. I bet they miss the smiling face. Because I would set it up where every day I needed to go get something that got me out of the house, got me moving, got me walking, and of course, once I get Walmart, i got to walk around and look at everything. Even though I've seen everything 9 million times already, i got to walk. Push my cart, got my stuff, just walk around and look. Sometimes I find some good clearance items, you know, so I don't like to miss those either. But yeah, I, this um, staying home. But it, it's, I have to be honest, it's getting harder to walk a lot. Um, because, you know, the, when I told my doctor, he jerked it around and had me on my back and twisted and bend. And then I go to the x ray tech, he does the same thing. So, okay, the soreness that I had, which wasn't that severe, it was just there, went from a scale of 2 out of 10 to about 6 out of 10. So, I have to go, of course, go see the knee surgeon now because the x-rays didn't come out good. So, I go see the surgeon. What does he do? Same thing. Same thing. But that's his job. But same thing. I walk out of there with even less mobility. So then, you know, I come home and do my shit for my three months and walk on it and, you know, do all that shit I'm not supposed to, but I did it anyhow. My fault. And I go back to him and same thing. Moving it, twisting it, turning it, walk on it, stoop on it. Then I immediately from his office again. See, I, I'm not used to doctors doing this. I went right over and got, I don't know, four x-rays, I think it was, of my knee. Because he wants to make exactly sure what he's doing, you know, on surgery day. And uh, so I came back. And, of course, you know, I've been jerked around again. So at this point, my knee pain has gone to about a nine I told my husband this morning, I don't know how my dear grandma walked around with two knees like this. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. She did it for years until it put her in a wheelchair. Then they decided to do the knee surgery, and they did them both at the same time. Best thing they ever did. Yeah, but she had to wait a long, long time to get it. I can't wait. I just, uh, I can't. Crossing my legs is like, I gotta pick it up and put it over. So, yeah. Maybe had I not said anything and everybody didn't start jerking around on it, it wouldn't be like this, but it is what it is. And we'll get that fixed. Oh, and he told me the other one's starting to lose all its structure in there. It's not bad yet, it's not surgery bad yet, but he said, be looking for it. <laughs> Unless I need something to, a surgery to save my life, there's not going to be any more. This makes, if you count the two eyes, which they were surgery, um, take the two eyes off though. I've had, this knee will make 19 major surgeries. And then the two eye surgeries, that's 21 
surgeries. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm done with them, but you know, and if this one was like it was when I first went in and told my doctor and they found what was wrong with it, but that's all the more it hurt, I would have said no. Uh, but I probably should not have counted on the steroid shot that I asked for. That was me. It wasn't him. I asked him if we could try that route first. Um, so I had to wait three months. Hey, I'm going to get through all of this. I'm good. My blood work came back the way he wanted it to. You know, I Thursday I'll get an EKG. And hmm. you know, she had blood work she wanted me to do for my appointment, but my appointment is until I think September for that, so I'm just going to go with the blood work that I have because that's all the surgeon needed to know something about setting time and, and saturation and I don't know. I don't know. I got good blood. I ain't worried about it. So, here and be. This is what it's all about. I'm at 31 minutes, guys. I am so sorry. This is what happens, though, because I didn't get here over the weekend. It's just been scurry, hurry time, you know, and my mind is elsewhere on some other stuff and it's okay. You know why? Woke up. It's a good day. You woke up. You're watching me. It's a beautiful day. So, with all that being said, I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to shut And And um, I'll be back. I don't know if I'll be back later today. I might. I want to go out and my work area and do some stuff. I don't know if I'll get there or not because I've worked my ass off again to the point where I'm exhausted. I could go take a nap, but I'm not going to. Got my weed eating done and everything else, so I'm good. I've accomplished a lot. Oh, anyhow, I was getting off here, wasn't I? All right, y'all. I love you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all are wonderful. Please push my buttons. Oh, my cat just jumped. Um, do something for you today. Please do something for you today. You deserve it. You, I'm talking to you. You deserve it. So, go have fun. Go do something good. Relax if you want. Watch a movie. Whatever makes you happy. All right, guys. I love you all. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll be back. See ya.